symbolic. They did not say there is no progress. Accelerate. Accelerate. We all know what to accelerate means. To hasten. Yes. If you want to fasten progress, include women. Accelerate women, inspire inclusion. That is the thing. And our vice chair started very well when she said, GYC, we need to find a way to hook on. We need to find a way to make ourselves known. We need to find a way to be inclusive. And that we will do by the special grace of God. So now, the reason for this year's thing is to tackle economic disempowerment of women. Just now as we were talking, this one said, I read this, but I'm doing this. This one said, I've read this, but I'm doing this. This one said, I'm still looking for something to do. Many women are still disempowered. And until we recognize women's social, economic, cultural, and political achievements, development will not be accessible. Where women were before, that's not how they are now. And that's not where we'll be. Time to come. However, the image of the helpless, oppressed, and marginalized <coughs> group has undermined their proper study. That is, people always see us as marginalized, people always see us as helpless. People People always see us as the Bible would want to see the weaker vessel. So people don't bother to, to, to try to discover the enigma called a woman. They don't, they don't bother to, to discover the magic, the magical powers that women have. I was given an example a while ago of what our forebear Eve did in the Garden of Eden. That was a power used in a negative way. But let me also give you an example of the power of one of our forebears. Her name was, what was the name of that? The famous Mother Rusha Alakinja. We all know of the famous Ugoz, Ugozi, Ukonjo, Uela. We all know of Ajia, Bola, Shagaya, uh, Sh Shagaya, yes. We all know of Uju, Ifejika, they go on and on. We all know of all the execution. We all know of Shimabanda Adichie. We all know, I can go on and on. In the river areas, I don't know, in the coastal areas, in his own, his own, his own nation, maybe if you can, you know, draw inspirations. So, as long as these women are powerful, not just powerful, they are rich, rich women. So, as long as they can do it, we also can do it. And let me end this brief talk another wonderful quote that I want us all to go home with. And that quote is from another foreign woman, Sandra. And what does she say? She said, sometimes the future changes quickly and completely and we are left with only the choice of what to do next. We can choose to be afraid of this, to stand there trembling, not moving, assuming the worst that can happen. Or we can step forward into the unknown and add still it will be brilliant. And it is on that note I want us to leave this place, step forward into the unknown and assume that all will be brilliant. Thank you so much for this. Thank you. Very, very.